Hello, everyone. Welcome to America's Audit Update from the Republican Party of Arizona. I am your chairwoman, Dr. Kelly Ward. As you know, the counting of ballots has renewed and restarted in earnest here in Arizona. Democrats, now joined by their newly adopted national anti-audit spokesman, a person who was mistakenly elected, perhaps, as a Republican last November, continue their attempts to stop or undermine the audit. We also have some exciting news from other states and jurisdictions who have seen us take the lead here in Arizona and now are looking at their own elections and opening their boxes of ballots for full recounts and examinations. Let's talk about Arizona first. Maricopa County Recorder Stephen Richer, who's in charge of administering elections in Maricopa County, but who was, interestingly enough, not in office during the 2020 election cycle. He staged a circus masquerading as a news conference with his crew to angrily attack the Arizona State Senate, to attack individual state senators, to attack the auditors, to and challenge the legality of the audit from taking place, and he refused to attend a meeting requested by the Arizona State Senate or anyone else to address serious, serious irregularities found by the audit thus far. Richer even thought it wise to publicly attack President Donald Trump in a wild bid for national attention. It reminds me of that old adage, uh, be careful what you wish for, as Richer has now been swept up in the glow of attention from the mainstream media and the ultra left as they use him, use him, as the example of Republicans leaving the fold and questioning the audit use him. Well, national polling firms are reporting nearly 90% of Republicans strongly support America's audit here in Arizona. So Stephen Richer is leading an army that just does not exist. His latest salvo was on a national news program, well, news, where he said that there was no legitimate reason that would have prompted this audit. <laughs> he said that all of their internal tests came back clean and that the parties themselves oversaw the hand counting of, uh, and the audit, the so-called audit of 47,000 or so votes. Well, 47,000 or so votes, Mr. Richard does not make an audit. As he takes his show on the road, Richard seems to be a carnival barker masquerading as a county recorder. He doesn't get to decide whether an election was handled properly or was fraudulent in any way. He's just an administrator. And administrators don't get to review and grade the work of their own office. Mr. Richer, you certainly do not have standing to question the Arizona State Senate's motivation or legal right to conduct this audit, or to disregard decisions by the Arizona courts, including the Arizona Supreme Court, affirming this audit and how it's being conducted. Across the nation, America's audit is expanding. A Georgia judge recently agreed to unseal mail-in ballots in Fulton County, and that includes Atlanta. In Michigan, county officials have expressed interest in a review of their voting machines. A similar case in New Hampshire has at least one jurisdiction doing the same. In just one month since America's audit started here in, in Arizona, we are seeing a change in how voters view their elections and standing up for our right to see, count, and review the ballots not just a handful, but each and every one of them. I thank you for tuning in, and again, we'll see you at our next update.